Hello, I'm Leslie Page and I'm President of the Royal College of Midwives and I wanted to talk to you because I've just finished a whole year as President. It's been a really amazing year, very busy, very interesting and really enjoyable and I've been so proud to represent the College and the midwifery profession. My role really as President is as Ambassador. I work closely with Cathy Warwick, the Chief Executive, who is one of the other main ambassadors for the college. And working with this strong college, which is both a trade union and a professional organisation, has been really important and has made me realise just how influential the Royal College of Midwives is and has been over many years. We work closely with government and we also work closely with the other Royal Colleges, particularly our medical medical colleagues. It's a UK-wide college and when I was elected I made a commitment to visiting all of the four countries in the United Kingdom on a regular basis and I've had tours around Scotland, around many parts of Scotland including the North, Wales and have been to Northern Ireland. I've also visited units in Cornwall and in parts of England. And on those visits, I've met midwives and student midwives either in the clinical places where they work or in the colleges where midwife teachers work and where the students gain their education. These visits have been tremendously important in terms of listening to midwives and what their life is like. I've particularly enjoyed meeting with students. I've spoken at student conferences in Hull, Montrose in Scotland, at the annual conference. And one of my highlights was a bike ride with the King's College students around Westminster, in which they were trying to raise the profile of the need for the employment of more midwives. We served cakes to passers by and MPs, and we got more support, support for our petition. These students are so impressive, they really are our future, and I always feel regenerated and inspired when I'm meeting with them. So as president of the college, I'm ambassador for the college, but I'm also speaking for you as midwives. One of my most important events when I started out as president was to speak at the National Federation of Women's Institutes at the Albert Hall and this is really I think very important to us because it's working closely with one of the largest women's organisations and as midwives we work closely with women. I spoke to 7,000 women and it was a culmination of work by staff in the college to actually have the Women's Institute form a resolution for the employment of more midwives. This was successful, it was widely supported and the work is ongoing. The college is also international and I've in, been invited abroad on a number of occasions. I've been to Hungary, Russia, Ireland, Australia and I opened the Primal Birth Conference where I talked about normal birth in Honolulu. I've also done a lot of writing about midwifery and the work of the college. I've been involved in a protest by the independent midwives in regard to the concern about insurance, the requirement for insurance. Well, what are my most striking memories of this year? Well, I have to say that despite the considerable pressure that midwives are working under, in all of the UK, um, the workload has increased, and in England it's gone up by 22% in the last 10 years. Despite this considerable pressure and the complexity of the services that you work in, the development of midwife-led care, of innovations in midwifery, have been really impressive and have been highly effective, and on top of that, a very important work of research and evaluation. And one of the important things we need to do as a midwifery profession is to widen access to midwifery-led care. We're seeing birth um, being described as a human rights issue and the rights of women to have a normal birth 
as being absolutely fundamental. What I have to say is that I'm really proud of being a midwife and seeing the work that's being undertaken. On two occasions, I've received the Princess Royal and presented staff to her in her two visits to Scotland, one to Edinburgh and one to Kirkcaldy. In both cases, she visited midwife-led units and I was so proud to see what midwives had achieved. She met mothers, uh, women, babies, fathers, and she heard about the high quality of care that had been received. It made me truly proud to see the work and to help showcase those developments. Well, I just want to say that I'm looking forward tremendously to the next two years. I hope to be seeing more of you. I'll be out and about want to listen to what life is like for you and I want to say just how much I've enjoyed learning about more about midwifery in the United Kingdom and representing you as your ambassador. Thank you.